Welcome to this week's Speed Animation. My name is Dia Hatley, and if you are new to the channel, we are all about learning 3D game animations. If 3D animation is something you would like to learn, consider subscribing, hitting the notification button, and checking out the end of the video to see what we'll be animating next week. All right, so in this uh, speed run slash start to finish animation, I'll be doing a jump cycle. And I'm going to be starting off with the, the blocking phase, then the blocking plus, spline mode, and then a polish. So I'm just going to walk you through this animation uh, step by step ish while it plays in the background. Alright, so the first part of this process would be blocking. When blocking out the character, we're basically going through making the key poses of each uh, basically major part of the animation. So for this jump animation, are we putting the anticipation? Well, first start off with the idle. The anticipation when he sort of dips down, and then the acceleration when he jumps up, then he hits his apex, do like a sort of like a Spider-Man pose or something. And then as he's coming down, having to stretch out, just like a bouncing ball. And then the compress when he lands, and then back to his idle. Now that we got our blocking set up, now we're going to move on to blocking plus. Blocking plus is going to be a lot of similar things that we did with blocking, but we're just going to add more poses. And by the time we're done with our blocking plus, our animation should almost feel complete. It should have all the poses we would need for the whole animation. Our timing should be adjusted. So now that we have a keyframe on every controller, we're able to move those keys to adjust our posing and our timing.
Alright, so right here you can notice I make a huge change in my animation. I'm allowed to do this by having my keyframes and my controllers all in a, a workflow that is understandable to myself so that I can make these quick changes and not be interrupted or having to destroy the whole animation just to make them. All right, so now we're moving on to spline, and here's where I normally start moving up or offsetting my keys, offsetting my controllers if it's needed. Most of the offsetting is done during my blocking and my major poses when I'm tweaking out my poses and the blocking plus phase. But when I get to the, re the spline phase, I normally will add more adjustments to make sure I get all the nuances that I want to have in the actual motion of the character. So if I need the elbow to sort of wiggle a little bit when he comes up or when he drops down, I need the, the knees to jiggle or feet to slide and I go in and I start adjusting those. I'll even dive into the curve editor to sort of make sure all my curves are arced properly, are moved properly and are set in a way that it's going to work for the animation. So with that, uh, I'll probably just move on straight on to polish right there. And then as I am polishing the animation, which will be the last phase of your animation, that's when you just go into every little curve and then start tweaking every curve, making sure every little key within the graph editor is where it needs to be. If there's duplicate keys, deleting keys where I don't need them to be, and just sort of going through my whole animation with the with the smooth comb and just brushing it or I guess combing it brush your hair with the comb you would comb it so I'll get a comb and I will comb the curve editor and tweak out any poses and make sure I got everything flushed out here is the final animation spent about an hour animating this out it's animated on a turntable so that on a looping turntable so you can see the animation from 360 view in games, we gotta animate our characters to be seen on all views, all angles I should say, so that, because uh, in game you can see the character from any angle. So next week I'll be doing a speed animation of a walk cycle. The walk cycle will be a vanilla walk cycle, nothing really difficult or anything, just really basic. One of my viewers had suggested a tutorial of a walk cycle, so later on, that week also, I'll be bringing out a full tutorial of how to do that walk cycle. Alright, well that wraps it up for this one. I'll see you guys next time.